Good morning, friends at Knox Meg Kids at Home. As the old prayer says, may grapes and peas and grace and peace be with you. Knox Meg Kids at Home is a weekly gathering of stories and songs and sharing prayers together. And here in the season of Lent, on the fourth season, we've been following our Where Your Heart Is family devotional. And this week, our theme is Consider the Lilies. And you're going to hear more about that. Uh, we're recording in advance before our family takes a little bit of time off. Uh, and we'll be back on Palm Sunday again, broadcasting in our usual way. And we're thankful to Charlene, who is leading worship and preaching in our 1030 traditional service. We're going to begin by lighting our candle and singing our welcome song. God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. I've got some helpers who are going to help out with this singing. Here we go. God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. God welcomes all, stranger and friend. God's love is strong and it never ends. Now we're going to sing it through twice more. And this time, instead of saying stranger and friend, we're going to just leave some space there. And you can say the names of the people that you're singing with at home. Uh, if you want, you can say hi to other people. Like, you could write who's watching in the comments below. Um, and then you can say their names as well. Sound good? Awesome. God welcomes all. job folks. Now remember you can find your copy of the Where the Heart is Family devotional. If you're watching on Facebook I think right up there in the video description is where you'll find it and maybe if you're watching on YouTube you'll find it right down there. Excellent. Now there's some birds involved in uh, today's story and as you can hear our bird alarm clock is getting excited to uh, join in the fun on that one. We've been doing a prayer, a body prayer, over the course of the season of Lent. That prayer is, I am here. And today we've got some friends who have created their own version of that prayer. Let's take a look. I am here. I'm here, and in this place we are invited to ponder the words we say and the stories we speak and to listen for the voices of spirit speaking and through each other of us. I am here. And we are grateful for the places we find ourselves and we accept the challenge to bless the space between us. I am here. And in this place we seek to live in truth and from the heart trusting that god is found within each one i am here and in this place we seek to look at the world that ourself and even god in new ways open to the possibilities i am here and we are grateful for the land we walk upon, our 
one shared home in this time we think carefully about how we live in such a way that blessings to all beings. Folks, that was a great version of that prayer. Thanks so much for sharing. Now, if you'd like to, uh, if there's another group of people who are interested in providing their version of that prayer, uh, you could get in touch with us, send us a Facebook message or leave us a comment, and we can edit your version into the service that will be pre-recorded for next week, the 21st of March. We're going to sing another song. This song is a, a song we haven't sung in a little while. Um, it's called God's Glorious House. The words go like this. Come and go with me to God's glorious house. Can you make a house? Excellent. Perfect. They say, come and go with me to God's glorious house. It's a big, big house. So it looks like this. Big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. A big big yard where we can play football big big house huh. it's god's glorious house wonderful now there's so many spots in 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 the stories in the christian tradition where um jesus teaches about about houses um and 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 space for everyone and in, in our stories, we remember that this doesn't necessarily mean a, a, a real house or another space somewhere else, but an invitation to live our lives in our communities with space for all, um, to make space for each kind of person to gather just as they are. Ready? Here we go. We're going to sing together. <laughs> It's kind of like a picnic. Now this time, instead of football, what, what, what's, a, what's a sport we can play? Quidditch. Quidditch. We can play Quidditch. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Expelliarmus. Perfect. And instead of lots and lots of food, Isla, what's your favorite food? Your hair? <laughs> Pizza? Pizza. 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 So instead of lots and lots of food, we're going to say a big, big table with lots and lots of pizza. Sound good? Here we go. Watch out for the bludgers, though. They come out of nowhere. Hey, and if you see the golden snitch, let Harry know. He is seeking it somewhere out there. <laughs> Perfect. Now, um, if we were live, we'd, we'd ask in the comments for you to tell us some of your favorite sports or favorite foods. But since we're not, we're pre-recording uh, this week, we're going to... Uh, so, Isla, this time, favorite sport? Gymnastics? Gymnastics. Excellent. Favorite food? Um, That's not pizza. Pudding. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever served her pudding. She's never eaten pudding. I'm very intrigued by this. <laughs> <laughs> to me, like pudding is in like dessert, like British dessert. Yeah. Yeah, so oh. Pudding, like British, British dessert. dessert. 
Excellent. Category. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your favorite British person uh, for more information about Just that. Just say your favorite dessert. Excellent. Come. And go with me to God's glorious house. Come. And go with me to God's glorious house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. It's a big, big table with lots and lots of pudding. God's glorious house. Now this last time we do it, everyone's going to say your own favorite food. You're also going to say your own favorite sport, or if you'd like mathematical equation instead. Long division. I love it. find a seat and we're going to do a time of stories. Over the weeks of Lent up until Palm Sunday, we're using this resource, Where Your Heart Is, to guide our wondering. There's some stories and questions for your family to think about at home and some pretty neat spots to do some coloring. This week follows the theme, Consider the Lilies. You can follow along, starting on page 19. Our time will offer one way to think about this, and then you can read together as a family and think about it in another way. Remember the young man from last week? He owned a lot of land. And last week we learned that in Jesus' time and place, when someone owns a lot of land, it's because they bought it from people who could no longer stay on that land and means they likely did it in a bad way. They were part of a way of being that hurt others. Last week, Jesus told the young man to sell what he owned, to make right. Let's see what happens this week. Because here again, Jesus tells a story about someone with a lot of land. The rich landowner had very good land. His land produced a lot. We could use the word abundance, as in enough for everyone. Now the man who was rich and owned this land looked at his abundance and thought, where shall I store my crops? For I don't have a barn big enough. So he made a decision. He pulled down his barns and built bigger ones so that he could keep all he had. Jesus then said, consider the birds. They do not store their food, but God feeds them. Technically, birds do store food, but not like the men in the story. So Jesus had a point. Consider the lilies. They don't spin or toil, but not even the richest ruler is dressed as beautifully as the lilies. This, says Jesus, is how it works in God's kingdom in God's economy, in beloved community. Saint Marcella of Rome lived in the fourth century of the common era in Rome. She was born into a family with a lot of wealth, many lands and a large home. She was married as in it was her family's choice for her to another rich man, which made her family even more wealthy, but he died and instead of remarrying, Marcella refused, and she opened her home to other women who were widows or from poor families, and together they cared for the poor. In fact, they gave away most of Marcella's possessions and tended her land. 
But instead of storing it in barns, they gave it away. Each time the land produced, they gave it all away, keeping only what they needed to keep themselves fed and the land thriving and used all the empty rooms so that people had a place to live. Now, years later, when Marcella was very old, an army came to Rome, just like Rome had done so many times before. When the invading Goths came to her estate, the army thought that because it was so big and had so much land, that they would be able to take the many riches. But when they got there, they found nothing except Marcella and her community. And they demanded to know where the riches were. And Marcella told them, I keep my crops not in a barn, but in the bellies of the hungry. And I keep my riches not in a vault, but in the clothes on the backs of those who are cold. I have nothing that can be taken from me. I wonder what you think of these two stories. I wonder what they tell us about abundance. I wonder what they tell us about what is worth protecting, like community, like the abundance of the land. So as we end, let us consider the lilies. There are some neat questions and coloring in the weekly devotional. We'd love to see your coloring or hear your stories and ideas that come up. Thanks for wondering. Thanks for wondering with us and thanks to Cheryl for another great story and thanks for helping us consider the lilies. Before we offer some prayers and a time to, uh, to comment with your prayers for this week, we're going to sing our prayer song. Oh, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. And a sanctuary is a special place and a holy place, but a sanctuary is also a safe place. And we pray that our communities would be safe spaces. And, and this week especially, we're, we're thinking of those folks who, who found themselves feeling deeply uncomfortable by some things that church has said in, in the name of God, and that hurt a lot of people. And we're thankful for those who are working for justice and inclusion um, and affirming of each person, particularly folks of different sexualities and different gender identities. And we're thankful for those who are working to create safe spaces within themselves, within communities, for all people to thrive. We're going to sing together. And if you've got a higher type voice, you can join Cheryl in the high type part. Oh, prepare me. Oh, prepare me. 
tried and true with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you good job folks now, if you want to name a specific prayer you can do so in the comments below bringing all of our prayers together we use the words that Jesus taught friends and followers both For as a child turns to her mother so we turn to God and say our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We can't pass peace um, from each one to the other, but we can do it like this. Take hands and go cross over and down. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And also with you. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. We have another pre-recorded service for you next week on March 21st, and then we're back in our usual way on March 28th for Palm Sunday. It's going to require some big high fives for the palms. Wonderful. We're going to close with our blessing song. May God bless you and keep you. May light from God's face shine upon you and give you peace and give you peace, and give you peace forever. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, may grace and peace and grace and peace be with you all. Consider the lilies. <laughs>